What is the most resilient parasite? Bacteria? A virus? An intestinal worm? Uh, what Mr. Cobb is trying to say. An idea. Resilient, highly contagious. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood, that sticks. Right in there somewhere. 2383, free LUT. Before the widespread adoption of digital cinematography, films were shot on film stocks and processed in specialized photochemical laboratories. When a picture was developed and transferred to print stock for further distribution, its final look was determined by its photochemical process. Gradually, digital acquisition of imagery became more common. But even in the era of all digital acquisition in production, getting that photochemical processed film look is still a top priority for many modern filmmakers, cinematographers and colorists. You must already be aware of the film LUT that comes with Resolve for free, the Kodak 2383 print film emulation LUT. It was meant to be applied to the processed and scanned film footage. As a creative manipulation, many colorists and filmmakers have started using the LUT as a starting point for their grades. While our digital workflow allows us to recreate the film look on digital footage, the log to display color space, that is Rec. 709, is baked in within the LUT that comes with Resolve. To solve this minor inconvenience, we created a 2383 film emulation LUT and emulates just the look element of our classic 2383 LUT. This separates the creative look from the color space transformation that's baked in Resolve's version of LUT. We've rebuilt this LUT from scratch in Fusion, and while this is an attempt to emulate the LUT as close as possible, there is a creative flavor added to it. Hues and creative contrast curves present a closer match to the classic 2383 style look but there's an additional attempt to add a negative film-like saturation. Nonetheless, the look serves as an amazing starting point for your project. Now that we have some background knowledge on the LUT, let's jump into how to apply the LUT inside DaVinci Resolve. We already have our classic ARRI test shot on our timeline and we have applied the Color Space Transform CST node to it. We are just going to go ahead and add a serial node just before our CST node and apply our free 2383 scene LUT. You can see the visible difference. The shot has much more baked in 2383 contrast and saturation. While we are giving away this film LUT for free, we have a better collection of creative LUTs available on our website. Our lookup tables, or LUTs, have been carefully crafted into four distinct groups. Daylight, Sunset, Dusk and Indoor based on the recursive real-world shoot patterns. Even if you're just starting out in the world of color grading, Ultimate Colorist Toolkit is a way to speed up your workflow and create stunning looks in no time. Coming back to the tutorial, let's quickly move to our second shot, which has been shot on Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera and find out how to apply our free 2383 scene LUT correctly on it by using the Color Space Transform tool. Let's go ahead and click on the Effects tab and apply the Color Space Transform CST on the node. Since our footage was shot on the BMPCC 6K, we'll CSTs, Input Color Space and Input Gamma Select Blackmagic 6K Pocket Camera, and in Output Color Space and Output Gamma Select ARRI Wide Gamut 3 and ARRI Log C3, respectively. Also, click on the Tone Mapping method and select None in it. The only reason why we are doing this is that this LUT is expecting ARRI footage and it is meant to work only with ARRI color spec. So, what we have done here is converted the Black Magic's camera space to the ARRI camera space. Then add another serial node and on it again add CST. And now convert the input color space and input gamma to ARRI white gamut 3 and ARRI log C3 respectively. Whereas, now in Output Color Space and Output Gamma, select Rec. 709 and Gamma 2.4 respectively. Now add a serial node before our first node and do some minor color correction on it till you feel it is good enough for your individual aesthetic choices. After the color correction, label this node as the Adjustment node. 
Then go ahead and add another node and name it LUT on which we are going to apply our free 2383 scene LUT. You can see we have retained a warm nostalgic charm and unique creative aesthetics from our much desired 2383 photochemical processed film look. This is the correct way of applying our free 2383 LUT. Now quickly, let's scan all other footage on our timeline. You can see that we have kept the LUT node empty and are only applying our free 2383 scene LUT on it. The reason being, we are following the same node tree structure and CST settings that we followed earlier, while only applying our free 2383 scene LUT on it. That's it for this video. You can start working toward that elusive film look by downloading our free 2383 scene LUT from the description. Our 2383 film power grade will see a 2023 update soon. We are trying to emulate Vision 3 film colors along with 2383 film look. It is meant to give you the flexibility to modify the color components of negative and positive film attributes individually. Make sure to sign up with our newsletter to stay updated on the release. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory.